Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Crossout. This is Drone Forever here here today, and today I'm gonna show you the mighty Warhog from Halo. This Warhog's been through all Halos and been one of the favorite vehicles until the of course the Scorpion was one of the best, but this is a very fast and good vehicle that is, uses its um battling ram which is this fire to take out other vehicles or um demobilize them in Halo Wars two and one which I'm hoping to show you some gameplay of you will see this thing shredding people to bits. I'm serious when I mean shredding. But for Halo Wars two two I'm gonna see if I can make a stream though later on. Maybe some of you can watch or whatever happens. I'll let you know for more details. But today is it's about this Warhog I guess. So this thing is like, hook it up on the internet, I tried to copy the sideboards and everything, I put in the fast engines just to make it look cool, I gave it the machine gun, the mini gun, as you can see um, what's it got to build, it's, a, it's very well done, I guess, for me it is, plus um, there is an AVA um, booster right here, it's common, hopefully I'll get a higher level, I got a <laughs> one white, I wish I had more than that, I have a enough defense at the back to make it look like that and if there was any way I could angle this off eas easier than that it's pretty bad you know what I can actually do this yeah that looks much better I need to make sure I save this now <laughs> instead of this just put in Halo Warhog um, but yeah so you guys know these are for exhibits um, so if you want to see these things or you dress them out, you all have to do is search up Halo War Hog and you should be fine. Halo, you should search them, just Halo, you should be able to find it. For Scorpion, it's Scorpion, Halo, Halo Scorpion, you can check the other episode, um, that I have about the Halo Scorpion. But anyways, pretty sure most of you are asking, how did I build this thing? Um, it's kind of a painful build I put together, but... I should be able to show it to you guys, but first, here's the first thing: we have to delete it. Now we have to start. <coughs> okay, so the first thing you want to do is have two lightweight frames. Then you want to put down um, two two by fours on each side. Next thing you want to do is um, extend two light frames across the back and put this thing like this then you want to put on where is it the engine in right away this is the big engine that nobody will see of course we can't do that yet we have to put in our um, buggy cabin but also for the ones of you who are wondering right now this will be shown off if I have enough time if I build this thing fast enough the last time it took me a while to build a huge vehicle so hopefully this one doesn't take that long because I don't want it to Okay, the next thing you want is two ST wheels because the things uh, thing is um the other, I don't know if the real Warhawk has all um steering wheels but this thing turns and moves very well like a Warhawk. Has that beautiful turning, that's why I put these wheels on. I don't have any other um, matching wheels. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is to build the face. You wanna put down is a, a fender which looks like that which is pretty cool already as you can guys see then you wanna put down a quarter wall now there is some um, spaces over here what do you wanna do when you have this off you want it to be one ahead then you wanna grab a half pipe because I'm um, the front of Warhog if you search it up has that good old um, pipeline set up and I there's no way I can make it any prettier. At least I haven't tried anything right now that will work out well. I just actually I have, but this is the best thing I can do, guys, right now. So I do hope you will enjoy me showing you a funky build of it, which is the best thing you can get in Cross Out as known, because I'm the only guy that's making this thing. Because I've searched it up many times. Nope, nope, nope. I can't find it. It's a goner. It's a freaking honor. Okay, so here I'm just trying to build these n noses because um, I can't really figure out what I do uh, without these guys. Okay, so the next thing you want to do 
Hmm. I think you can achieve, yeah, like that on both sides, up until the wheel can go. <laughs> After that, um, just do this for now. Both sides. There will be change. Um, this is, I guess this is even goes like that. Like, see, I don't have the best memory. I've did my best. <laughs> I've done my best. But this should be exact same thing as I start to get to the end of it. The next thing you want to do is a quarter wall. So here's the thing: it's not gonna let you do that because it wants you to use these tiny things. So you put them up like that. And then you take the quarter wall, you cut it up like this and this. And there you go with that. Now I'm pretty sure I've done this. Yeah, like that. It's right here where it says "War Dog, Kill a Dog," as I understand. You want to put down two f white engines. These things is what's gonna make the Warhawk go. Of course, you want them exactly against the other engine. The other engine is like a backup, in case these gets blown up. The other one will let you move because this thing is semi-heavy, and you want a Warhawk to be heavy for it to pass through some heavy tests of survival. Otherwise, the next thing you want to do. Let's get a wide slope. You don't want to do that, but let's see here. Let's see. Let's go to our thing. At the back, what do we do? Okay, I see. The thing was hanging on by an AVA booster. So, yeah, I'm gonna find one here. But by the way, I don't think this is gonna work out. I we might have to get another episode going of this afterwards because I don't have my premium valuability to make these amazing videos for you guys all the dang time so I'm sorry but yeah you wanna do this on either side and then you wanna do that then you wanna play this thing outwards and this is this is just for the to make it look prettier just put it like that for now. Then you want to get two of these boy wings, put them on the back like this. And if you do have this, where you have two um, real lights, just put them up there at the back, and that should be good. Okay, so for the bumper, you want the the real bumper, uh, which is um, right here, the van bumper. It just makes it look like a warhog. Nothing else would. It's the perfect fit. Now here's a fancy thing, the van bumper gives you the ability to put the explosive spears right there. And you can do that on either side. Let's see it's right over the edge which, and there you go, that is beautiful. And the ramming speed, everything will be set up perfectly. Anyways, here's the fancy patterning which will save this vehicle from losing its gun. You want these grilly threes. You want to angle them. Like. Oh, no, wait, that's. Fail. Already. You want to angle them. Are you kidding me, mate? Nope. There we go. There we go. I thought we were going to about to fail again. So, yeah, like that. So either bullets go through, or you have four different beams to support your machine gun, which is going to get shot at. Unless it gets destroyed first helps it out a bit more. The machine gun is just there to give you give the massive support. The real support is the bumper. Just like in Hail Wars, you would ram enemy vehicles doing that shit down of damage. Which is great, I think most of you think. So anyways, next thing you want to do is van side. Right on the edges. Because it makes sense. You want to be able to get up on this thing. and the best way you can do it. Next thing you want to do Take metal boxes, put two on each side instead of these guys. Okay, after you do that, you want to do this on each side. Now, don't give up hope. This means nothing right now. 
here's the thing you want to put grillies on both sides like this then you want to do them like that on the ground so it just curves it in perfectly for for um the protection but yeah if a cannon hits here all it does is remove those guys which is decent plus it might save this thing from getting hit if a cannon hits this part it's over for the machine gun by the way anyways copy this off to the end same here take the t-pipe do that to not make it look left out now you want to get a white soap put it like this copy off one of these put them like that then you want to copy this put it like this because that's what we found out at the beginning of the video and yeah not the simplest but pretty good easy f build this is the warhog best as i know unless i find other ways this is it guys other than if you really want to go fancy i have a few kinds but best thing i think is the camel for now best hits the warhog style but yeah let me quickly just show you this thing see as you can see starts with good speed good fancy turning it has a medium gun that shoots bullets subliminally then you can start to boost up to you try to boost you up that was a failed boost but yeah this thing just um, annihilated itself because of the explosive spear so it shows you the amazing capability it has but yeah if you do this it just gives you the boost so you can kill an enemy like that doing a massive damage with the frontal bumper so as you can see this thing has a meaning gun amazing turning capabilities quick reuse tables yep this is the warhog <sighs> I might look up for some pieces on the sides let me quickly show you in the future I'll find something out I hope just to put it right here the same here in the back but anyways I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode this is the mighty warhog Work for the future of me showing gameplay of this thing. Otherwise, this was day for days of here today. I hope you haven't. This is not day for days. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. It's a drone forever. Don't look up day for days because he's my cruel enemy. Evil guy, trust me. You don't want to mess with him. This has been drone forever if you're here today. And I haven't enjoyed this terrifyingly amazing episode of Halo. And I see you guys later. Peace.